Hey Greyhounds, I'm Cassie Wright and I'm a senior at PHS and today I'm going to vlog with you guys a day in the life of being like a freshman at PHS and what it's like. So I just got to school and typically we'll go in these doors for school but they're only unlocked in the morning so you can't get in them any other time. You'll have to go through the office and today I'll be taking you through the office. A wave. <laughs> if you take the bus to school and you don't get driven to school, you'll be dropped off at the bus loop in the back. This is our bus loop. There's usually not cars there, but there is right now. And then you come through these doors. <laughs> so as you get to school, you know have a little bit of time depending on what time you get here so you can like sit in the commons and talk to your friends i always did that i thought it was fun you get to talk before class and you have to be quiet i guess so usually talk to your friends what i did as a freshman that was really helpful for me is i just set my schedule as my lock screen on my phone so if you want to do that too you can my first class today is health, which if you're coming in from the bus loop, it's all the way across the school. And there are a lot of stairs in the school and it's tiring sometimes. <laughs> We're going up the stairs by the office to get to health. We're back on stairs for the second time already today and there's no escaping them because you're not allowed to use elevators unless you're injured or something. So at the very top of the stairs, there's this classroom right here. You see it right away and you walk in. Here's the health room. The health room is located in the first hallway in our school and that is the 100 hallway on your schedule it will say the room number and it will either say upper like you so this room is u101 that tells you that this class is on the upper level of that wing so that's a really good way to know where your class is is whether there's a u in front of it for upper or an m for main now we're gonna go to spanish So Spanish is in the 200 hallway, and my class is in M208, so I know it's on the main floor. I don't have to take stairs this time. So glad that I don't, because getting tired already. Okay, so we made it. All the language classes are in this hallway. M208. I'll show you the room. This is the Spanish classroom. This is actually where I took Spanish. My freshman year too, so that's fun. Next up, we have foods and nutrition, which is in room U403. So let's go there. So to get to foods and nutrition, we're back up top here. Just walked up those stairs again and drop my phone. And we're gonna go to Foods and Nutrition. You take a right down this hallway. You see that little case thing with photography stuff in it? And you go down this way. And you go all the way down the hallway and it's gonna be the last door on your right. Upper 403, Foods and Nutrition. Foods and Nutrition is a really fun class. I've had a lot of friends take it. They really enjoyed it. I've never taken it myself, but 
I've always heard some things about it. Now, we're gonna leave and go to our next class. So that was our third class. We're gonna act like we have lunch after the next class. And next we have biology. So that's in our third wing. The third wing has all of our math and science and it's to the left when you come up the stairs from the commons. So we have biology in room U204. So as with Miss Shirt and Leave, I don't know if any of you had her in middle school. It's over here. We'll go in. So that was our fourth class, technically. And so now we have lunch. So for lunch, you have like 25, 30 minutes-ish to eat, hang out with your friends. It's a good time. So let's go eat our lunch. Okay, so depending on your preference, you'll either bring lunch to school, like I did, or you can get lunch at school. So, if you get lunch, you go over here to the Greyhound Cafe, and they have pretty good lunch every day. Believe it or not, they have lunch. And if you want more snacks, either at Nutrition Break or at lunch you can come to this window right next to the greyhound cafe and you can get some snacks that's what i usually do i'm a big snacker so i always get snacks over there okay so i'm sitting here at a lunch table this is the commons you can like see there's the stairs that go up to the english hallway that connects to the sky bridge that goes to the history hallway. So I'm just gonna explain kind of how our school is set up. So it's set up in the three wings, if you have noticed that. And there is like a short hallway, then a longer hallway, and then a longer hallway. It's like an E. So the first hallway, which is closest to the front of the school, has special education classes on the first level and then on the top level it's all of the history classes which you don't have to worry about because you don't take history until you're a sophomore in the second wing we have language classes and history so on the main level so your m20 rooms those are all the language classes like spanish and french and then on the upper level is all of your English classes. Then in our third wing, we have science and math. So where I just showed you where biology was, that's where all of your math and science will be all throughout high school. Okay, so I just finished eating, I guess you could say. And so we're going to go to our next class, which is Survey to Literature in Room U203. So, back up the stairs we go. Okay. So this is our English classroom that we're in. And now we're gonna go to our last class of the day, which is geometry. So going back up to the third wing for that. Okay, so as we're going to geometry, one thing that's really cool is that we have a student store. You can buy a bunch of food and like, 
pencils and random stuff there that you might need throughout the day. You just bring some cash if you want to get something from there. That can be really fun. Okay, so we've made it to Miss Calm's room, upper 317. We're taking geometry. This is her classroom. Oh yeah. Okay, so after your sixth class and final class of the day, you go home or you go to sports, which are really fun and you should probably participate in one. It's a great place to make friends and just become a better person and like be responsible, I guess. And yeah, so I'll show you where the locker rooms are for athletics. Okay, so we're back down in the commons by the first wing in the office. And there's this little hallway right here that will go down and up here is where we have the aux gym. It's where you'll mostly take gym classes or you'll take gym classes or there's like JV sports mostly play in there. There are two levels. There's the upstairs, which is by the aux gym. This is the boys athletic locker room. Down the hall back there, there's a, just a regular locker room if you're just taking gym. But if you're doing athletics, you'll want to be in the athletic locker room because the lockers are a lot bigger. So, then you go down those stairs at the end of the hallway. You just follow the hallway. You go to the right down here. And then there's the girls athletic locker room and you walk down this way. So after you come out of those doors down there and walk out here or walk out these doors, you get back to the front of the school by the stairs where you come up to get to the commons. A uh, cool thing about over here is our fight song is on the wall. So if you don't know it, you should because we sing that at like every sporting event and that's something good to know so you can participate and have school spirit and everything. So that was my schedule, fake schedule as a freshman. And I hope you guys learn some more about how the school works and that you'll feel better about coming back to school when we do. Bye.